Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have for you guys a haul from the Nail Throne. I have 24 of the Glitter Bells glitters to share with you. Uh, these were heavily influenced by uh, Sarah's videos because she has been sharing some different hauls and some different products that the Nail Throne, which is Sarah's company, has been getting in. And I was like, I need that for fall. I need that for Halloween. I need that for winter. I need that for Christmas. So I'm gonna share a bunch of them with you here. So she was kind enough to send these to me so that I could feature them for you guys, as well as use them in future content that I have coming up, as well as some collaboration stuff that Sarah and I have planned to. So I definitely will go to the glitters, but I also wanted to share some home sense finds with you guys too, which are also heavily Sarah influenced as well. So these are some different candle holders that you can get from home sense. Can Sarah feature the clear one and I think she has the AB one on her channel and then Sharin from SMG Nails if she featured this one on her channel this beautiful like amber colored one and I knew that I wanted it for fall nails I just think it's so beautiful Sarah uses these for her monomer which she uses for her acrylic and I don't do acrylic I just do gel so when I saw Sharin feature these I asked her what she was going to use them for and because she's a gel tech too for the most part and she said she was gonna use these for her Opry blending fluid. And I was like, yep, that is exactly what I want these for too. So I grabbed this amber one and that was really the only one that I went there for, hoping that they had it. But they also had this like silver kind of gray one, depending on how the light hits it, it almost looks blue sometimes too. And um, I, I sent a picture of them both to Sarah and I was like, which one should I get? And she's like, get both get the amber one for fall and then this one for winter so here we are with both of them and then i also found these little dishes when i was there as well and what i was thinking i could use these for is um either for putting sarasi crystals in if i was just doing one color or i was thinking i could use them to put water in if i was doing watercolor painting so it comes with um the kind of opal cream colored one this pink one that's really pretty kind of like a sea foam blue and then this sea foam green one and they had a bunch of these dishes in different kinds of shapes too like they had a starfish i want to say they had a seashell there was a bunch of different ones too but i thought these kind of flower ones would be the most versatile so i just wanted to share those because why not <laughs> so let's jump into the glitter haul now okay so i'm just going to randomly grab here there's no rhyme or reason except i am going to share these two first so generally when I bring generally when I bring glitters in, I bring in chunky glitters because that's kind of how I prefer to work with glitters. But I noticed on the Nail Throne website that they had a bunch of these really fine glitters. So I asked Sarah if they would be good for sugar nails and she said they're great for sugar nails, that um, they're some of the best that she's used because they're so, so fine. So this first one here, Fairy Dust is a gold iridescent glitter. You can see that it's a little bit dense when you kind of mix it up and that type of glitter is really 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 good for sugar nails i find because it's a little bit heavier it tends to stick to the nails a little bit better uh so this one will work really good and then to go along with that this one is opal so the opal glitter here has a multicolored kind of crystal looking glitter to it i personally feel like both of these would be really good for sugar nails and i tend to do a lot more sugar nails come like winter and christmas season with like snowflakes and stuff so that's what these were in preparation for um let's talk about these so these are their star glitters this first one is called north star this one is an iridescent star glitter um, depending on how the light hits it it either looks purple blue or it's got that iridescent look to it again this would be really good for winter nails and then they also have this one which is called rainbow stars and rainbow stars is your holographic silver glitter really nice so i originally wasn't too sure about these star glitters like i didn't add these to my cart and then sarah was like do you want to try the star glitters and i was like well i just don't know how much use i would get out of them but now that I'm looking at these, I can just picture Sarah using these. Like I can picture her like marbling some acrylic and just putting some stars in with it. And trying that with gel would be uh, really interesting as well. So anyway, these I think will be really good too. Um, I just have to think outside the box, I feel like, to use them. Okay, so let's do all the fine glitters. So there's a lot more fine glitters on the site than what I'm just sharing with you guys here. Uh, but these are the ones that I kind of thought that I would get a lot of use out of for either 
like fall winter the seasons that are coming up here so first one is called shadows and this one i just think is so pretty like the color of this look at how pretty that is it's so sparkly so so incredibly sparkly just such a fine glitter like i can see exactly what sarah was talking about with these glitters being super super fine i think that'll work really well um for whatever i decide to do with it now these loose glitters you can use the way that i use them where i kind of dab them into my gel you can use them especially the fines you can use them for sugars you can mix them in with your acrylic uh you can use them in combination with gel polish so loose glitters are just so so versatile they're one of the most versatile nail art mediums i personally think and one of my favorite things to use so there's a lot that you can do with them as opposed to like buying pre-mixed things all the time so this one is slushy and this i love this color i just think this is such a beautiful blue i originally grabbed this in the chunky glitters because i could definitely see using the kind of chunky glitters like look at that this is really dense too i could definitely see using the chunky glitters for snowflake nails and um combination with that and then when i saw that there was a fine one i was thinking you know i wonder if i could do something with snowflake nails and like a sugar kind of set too so we'll see what actually ends up happening with this but um that's a really great option too and then this one is called tan me and this i was thinking would be fantastic for fall nails so pretty and it is so sparkly incredibly sparkly it's almost like a combination between a burnt orange and a rose gold very pretty and then the last fine glitter that i grabbed is this one called rouge and again i'm thinking christmas nails for this one this would also be a really good fall mix too it is so pretty it is so sparkly and again we have a fairly dense glitter in here as well so really looking forward to using those especially in combination with like sugar nails i'm interested to see how that works out one more fine glitter so this is the chameleon fine glitter i'm really pumped for this one too because i think this would be a really good halloween option and this one depending on how the light hits it either looks orange green or brown which is why i think it'd be great for halloween nails i could see like a sugar pumpkin i'm going to show you some of the mixed which is like a combination of the chunky and the fines and then they also have the chunky ones which are just chunky glitters so a whole variety depending on like what you prefer to work with so let's start with the mixed ones this one is called foxy and this one is just so stunning like hello beautiful green glitter this is going to be amazing for christmas now so you can see right in here it's got the fine glitters as well as the chunky in there which is something that i really like that glitter bells glitters um, do because i feel like they're a little bit more versatile in how you use them then um, especially if you prefer kind of working with the fine and you just want a little bit of chunky these are a really great option for that so the next one is called onyx i'm just gonna be covered in glitter by the time this is done and onyx is a straight black glitter this is even prettier when i open it than i thought it was going to be it's got like a really sparkly black to it which you guys know when i talk about black loose glitters or glitter gels or anything i'm quite particular on what i'm looking for in them and this one is super super sparkly it doesn't even really have like a silver to it it's just like a black sparkle so that's really nice to see these last two we saw in the fine version but this is a mixed version so this is the rouge and this one is a great red option it almost has like a pink kind of tinge to it this would be a great option for valentine's day nails too and the last mixed glitter that i have to share with you this one is slushy so this is originally which glitter i was going to get for like winter and snowflake nails when i saw that there was a fine option too i was like uh actually you know what i bet i can make use of both of them so again it's a mix between the fine glitter and the chunky glitter and i don't know if i've ever talked about the sizes of these glitter bells glitters okay so these are 15 gram glitter mixes so um and these are filled to the brim like these are very very full glitter so you would they would last you a really long time as well um okay we're gonna move on to the chunky glitters now so this first one is called tutti fruity fly like an iridescent butterfly one but they kind of have like an orange tinge to it this would be just a fantastic butterfly mix for summer nails and then we have this one which is called crimson and it is a chunky glitter so there's no fine glitters in here 
so pretty. Again, another great one for Christmas nails or even Valentine's Day nails. And then this one, I am so excited for this one because I had seen Sarah share this one, uh, Insta stories, a video, something. And I was like, that is gonna be just the perfect glitter for Halloween nails. Because depending on how, and not just Halloween nails, but fall nails too. Um, so depending on how the light hits it, it either looks orange or it looks green or it looks like a brownish black. There's even some gold in it. Just seriously, a perfect color for this time of year for fall or and Halloween nails. Scarab? Scarab? This one's so pretty though. Again, another nice one for fall. And I, I feel like this is a combination of like a teal green glitter and that kind of grayish glitter that we saw in shadows so pretty like it is just it's so unique like i don't have anything like this type of glitter mix which is why i was like mm, i need that okay this one is called popping candy now this one i think would be a great kind of spring color but the nice thing about this is i can easily see like a really nice snowflake set done with it and then just pull some of those purple tones in it too so this one is a mixed glitter because we've got some of that fine glitter in with it too and it's got blue, it's got silver, and it's got like a purpley pink to it as well. Just a beautiful glitter mix. Okay, this one is probably one of my favorite ones in this entire order, and this is Shadows, and again, it's a chunky glitter, so it's similar to that other one that I shared with you in the fine, but this one is just all chunky, and I love this glitter color. It is the definition of a grayish color, so it is a gray beige, type of glitter it's very muddy i feel like it's just so perfect for fall nails the nice thing about a glitter like this is you can combine it with a gray set of nails or like a neutral beige set of nails too there's just so much versatility with something that is like this unique and leans either like gray or neutral i really like that about that okay this one is called poseidon this i think would be great for vacation nails because we have that really fine gold glitter in it and then there's a mix of different shades of blue and even some like goldish green holographic glitters too this to me just like looks like an ocean i think that would be a really great idea to do with this type of glitter mix too this one is glow again i saw sarah share this one and i was thinking to myself you know that would be a great fall mix this one's really neat because it's like a holographic rose bronze type of glitter like i just i have never seen anything like this one before and this is right up my alley like if i was gonna wear a holographic color on my nails it would be something like this that had like that rosy tinge to it a couple more still guys another one that sarah had shared and i was like hey that is a talia mix this is called sugar honey and this one is just beautiful <laughs> it's got not really the fine glitters almost more like a medium glitter in there and then really big chunky mixes as well there's holographic there's some pink and then there's some almost like rose gold too so this is just a beautiful mix another good one for fall and then this one i'm so excited about this one and i was kind of on the fence with this one not because it's not stunning just because I don't, I don't really know. I just didn't know if I needed another purple mix, but this is aubergine and this one is just such a beautiful purple. Now that I see it in person, I'm like so glad that I grabbed this one because it is just a beautiful shade of like medium purple. And again, it's a chunky glitter, so we don't have any of the fine glitters mixed in with it. And then the very last one, this one is called electric and it is a chunky glitter mix too. And this one has holographic blue glitter in it so a fantastic one for uh, snowflake nails winter nails anything like that so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video if you pick up any of these mixes be sure to let me know which ones you grab which ones you're liking because and what you kind of envision using some of them for and i can't wait to see what some of you guys come up with for them as well make sure you follow me on all my social media and i'll see you guys in the next video bye